talk to you as Han. I'm Han. And um, I'm 23. And I'm a jazz singer. Um, I don't have any technical or business background. Um, I basically, uh, yeah, yeah, and Mukaba Music is an early stage startup. We just got funding. Woohoo! This is actually the first place I, I um, do it publicly. Say this, okay. <laughs> Basically, I was in Texas. We just came from Texas three weeks ago. We were there in South by Southwest Conference and Festival. I was there also as an artist and a startup entrepreneur. And the other night, we just found out that we got the funding we were longing for, 300,000 euros. Basically, uh, risk-free money from Sibelius Academy. This is the first actual product that they've been, like commercial product they've been investing in. I'm so happy. <laughs> and um, yeah, we just started a year ago. And the fact that I was standing in, in Texas, Austin, Texas, in this beautiful, beautiful bar with the, my favorite band playing and with these people working for me. And I, was, I had tears of joy. I had like, what the fuck? I mean, I just had a silly idea in the shower and here I am, like, okay. <laughs> Thank you, universe. <laughs> I, I really didn't know what to expect. I'm, I, I'm not special. <laughs> I'm just Hanna. And I have a child, a two-year-old. And, uh, you know, nothing is impossible, I guess. So that's what I came here to say. I'm, um, I just had this idea. I heard the people. We started, uh, we participated in summer startups last year. And um, the first idea was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so silly when I thought, like, when I think about it now, I was like, okay, well, I'm not sure if I would do it now, but, uh, you know, I've learned. And uh, as Albert Einstein said once, I have no special talent, I'm just passionately curious. And that's who I am. I just want to learn stuff. <laughs> I didn't know anything about coding, and I'm the CEO of a technology startup. I didn't know what it was a pitch. For me, as a musician, a pitch is eh, hitting the right tone. So when they told me, okay, do a two minute pitch, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> two minutes? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. But yeah, anyway. Um, so we got selected, and we were totally like some kind of jumbo team to be selected. We were like, okay, well, I'm not sure about this idea, but you know, cool people. Okay, let's get them in. And started sort of evolving from there. And we've learned <laughs> a lot. Now, like, my uh, business partner, Kiki, was just telling me the other day that, Hannah, like, listen to yourself. I'm talking to these high class people that know everything about, like, technology. I was, like, looking up to them, oh, dude. <laughs> like, oh, can I say to these guys? I mean, come on. They're like, but, you know, just when it comes back to basics, is they're no different than me. They've just had an idea and the passion to do it. And um, I think that's the key thing. I think one thing is that really defines, that sort of what we've learned is that what defines people and successful people is just one word, and that's dare. Dare to dream, dare to do, and dare to fail, because you will fail. We failed a lot, but I mean, kids fail too. Kids fail all the time, but they learn. That's how they learn to walk. That's how they learn to like draw. I mean, I look at my my son is too. Like, he's so cute. He's like drawing all these like lights draw the sun. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm just a kid. I'm just, you know, drop to the ocean, swim. I'm like, okay. <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah. And that's what we've been doing. We've been just learning how to swim. And summer of startups was a great school for us. We just, uh, they kicked us like hell. They were like, 
polishing the business model, and I didn't know what was a business model. I was like, business model, Canvas? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, we learned. And um, definitely, without that, we wouldn't be here. And also, as a woman, I have to say, I've been in situations where that has been a problem. I have been in situations where, for example, this guy that I met from China, he said that, well, it's cool that you have this, I really, really like your idea, but, you know, you're a woman. You wouldn't handle China, because you're a woman. It's different there. And, well, that's the case. I don't mind. What's that Malcolm there? <laughs> you know, we have guys as well, so. Um, but anyway, and um, I think the important thing is that, like, from the start, I've said that I don't know, but I want to learn. And I really wanted to learn. And I've spent all my passion, all my effort, and all my time uh, on just learning. Because that's the thing, I guess, being a startup entrepreneur. Every day is different. And I was so happy when Helen was like, oh, it's all the days. I'm like, oh, you know, all these emails. And just the other day, I was talking with my friend. I was like, I have 3,500 unread emails. <laughs> I'm like, what can I do with this? I have only 24 hours a day. I can't read all this. And he's like, Hannah, can I do one thing, please? And he comes like, <sighs> red. <laughs> or 3,500. And although maybe some of them are valuable. For example, one day I found Steve Blank had him <laughs> emailed me. I found it like two months too late. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's sort of the start of life. And <laughs> we do mistakes, but you know, yeah. Steve Black understood. I mean, you know, he's busy too. <laughs> yeah, and um, of course, I have my kid. I have, and I'm an artist as well. So I'm, I, we just launched our music video at South by Southwest. Called Phantom, uh, our band, and the song's called Stars. You can YouTube it and watch it. It's cool. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, so um, maybe I'll tell a bit about Mukava music. So um, basically, the business idea was first. Um, it came to me because I'm an artist. I'm a jazz singer. It's kind of niche the market. You wouldn't. Well, how many of you have ever? Well, last time you bought a CD, it's like five years ago or something. <laughs> <laughs> the record industry has come down, everyone knows it, but you know, shit happens, you know, businesses evolve and stuff. So what we wanted to do is that we actually wanted to sort of get the advantage of the internet for the actual artists and make sort of music digitalization profitable for the artists. And um, we had many hypotheses. <laughs> How could that happen? We had prototypes, we have now a Post alpha rolling and it sort of exploded um, in a way that we didn't <laughs> expect. In a good way, though, of course. Um, but um, yeah, so what we're doing is basically, if you know fantasy football, do you know fantasy football? Or Heya Heya? Yeah, well, yeah. basically it's that for music. And um, also, what is sort of important, what we have found traveling around the world, talking to the people that actually do music as a job, as their main living, they make millions and they do it, and also the internet music digitalization business. And the key problem is that, you know, you really, there are tens of thousands of services that you can buy music, it's all free, it's great, artists don't make money, but fuck them. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, you have to know what you're looking for, basically. You go to YouTube, you put a video, Phantom Scars, and then you find it. And then, when you really want to like search for new music, wouldn't you want that, you know, okay, it's Tuesday, it's 6 o'clock, I want to listen to indie rock, but kind of happy, not like some gloomy stuff, because I'm feeling happy and the sun is shining still and stuff. So, um, that's what we want to do. We want to bring you the tool of having, you know, 
making your you find music more easier, basically. So what we're gonna do and make it also fair trade for the artists. So basically, you have a player. Um, you find your music by subgenres, moods, different kinds of tags, whatever you want. You can just put in 21-year-old um, uh, female vocalist from Switzerland that plays indie rock with electro stuff that's a bit sexual. <laughs> and <laughs> it gives you the choices. And what the best part is that when you actually like something that you listen to, you're like, oh, this is awesome, and no one of your friends knows it, it has like 200 likes on Facebook. They're like, shit, I'm gonna promote this. Then you put it on your social medias. The bigger it gets, the bigger you grow as a music listener. So basically, you can start earning by your listening habits. So how cool you are, the bigger you get. <laughs> yeah. And actually, hopefully in the future, you can also spend the credits on the stuff you buy, the stuff you buy when you don't buy music. So like fake eyelashes and you know clothes from H&M or Asos. But anyway, these are the sort of challenges we are facing, and we started on something like, oh, I'm going to build the new celibate, but better. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> and, um, well, anyway, it's like, what I'm saying is that you don't have to be, like, special. You don't have to have a PhD in semantic web, although I could have had. Uh, <laughs> You don't have to uh, be any kind of spectacular person that is magnificent and uh, the CEO of Facebook or whatever. Because you can actually be 23, you can have a kid, and you can be a woman, and you can be a singer-songwriter without any experience on anything. <laughs> but you can learn. And that's the sort of, yeah, that's how I think what makes me different in a way. That's what I've heard. <laughs>